Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, what an end. Uh, I don't know, enter. <laughs> Should I just redo the intro? Nah, I don't care. Okay, let's go straight into it, straight into the mix. What's up, guys? Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk quickly about something that appeared in my comments when I read them the other day, and that is the black pill is so real. And weirdly enough, I actually agree with the sentiment, but not in the conventional way that you might suggest. Like a lot of people would suggest, oh yeah, the red pill is real, only subscribe to the red pill. Oh, the blue pill is real, only subscribe to the blue pill. The black pill is real, only subscribe to the, the black pill. When in reality, is that these things are literally like multivitamins. These things all are real. You know, when you... <sighs> let, me, let, let, let me just process some of my ideas for a moment. These things all are real, okay? And when you have an assortment of vitamins, you choose what vitamins to swallow. If, you ca if you're catching my drift, if you're understanding my analogy here, you could swallow the black pill, right? Oh yeah, I'm a rice cell, I'm, I'm sub five male, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an immigrant as well, that's even worse, and I'm also a piece of shit, and I'm also, you know, I've got a small dig, and you know, or you could subscribe to all these things, sure. But will it benefit you in time? No, no it won't. Like, it really, really won't. It's, the, the, the thing is, black, uh, the black pill is real. Like, but the guys in the black pill are nothing more than ugly, jaded people. Uh, ugly, jaded guys that, you know, haven't really achieved anything with their life and are not going anywhere and have no desire to go anywhere. They just want to wallow in misery. This is why I call often the black pill stupid. Because I'm not really criticizing the ideology itself. The ideology itself is, hey, there's, there's, like, there's beautiful people, there's handsome people, there's tall people, and they have an advantage over the ugly people that are, and the short people, and the people with small dicks, and the fucking that type of shit. And people with no game, or no riz, or whatever buzzword you would like to give it. What's my cat doing, bro? That's invading my privacy again. When you want to come in, you come in. Holy moly. At the end of the day, these are nothing more than buzzwords, ladies and gentlemen. Like, of course, people that are handsome, tall, you know, like, uh, showing you that video before, like, from, um, I think I've already uploaded it, but that video before of, like, uh, Jordan Barrett, this, like, ultra supermodel next to this, like, um, immigrant dude. And everyone in the fucking comment section is calling him, like, literally, quite literally retarded, quite literally, you know, incapable, of sub five, subhuman. So, sub, like, th this is. The black pill is insulting to your potential. The black pill is insulting, guys. Like, like yes, yes, the black pill is real. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refute you on this. Yes, if you are more handsome, you are more tall, you, and then you have more things going for you, and you're you're very fit, you are going to be in a better position. However, we're not we're not even factoring hard work. We're not even factoring you know things that you can control. Like these most of these things that you can't control, you just ignore, bro, and you just keep moving. Like the red pill, for example, it states that you know, all men can improve, no excuses, you know what I'm saying, work hard, get money, get lifestyle, understand the truth, understand that you can't become better. You know, everyone has their idea of reality, right? And I, 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 I honestly agree with the majority of people's uh, you know, views on reality. Until, unless it's like completely fucking stupid, like, like uh, I don't know, we should billionaires should feed fucking kids in Africa. That doesn't make sense because if they feed kids in Africa and they feed people in Africa, they're just gonna make more people because people make people, and then they're gonna be, there's gonna be more money that needs. Yeah, that, that's a dumb argument because if, if you even argue with me with that, like, yo, bro, you're blocked. <laughs> you're done, bro. You're stupid because am I saying ten bucks? And I, spend, I have a billion dollars, and I spend all one billion dollars to feed um, one, like one person, for example, and it costs 10 bucks to feed a person. I feed 100 million people. Uh, pe those people are going to make more people as the time goes on. Like, that's just one meal. Or, obviously, it's not that much, 10 bucks. And I think I'm pretty sure it's much less. But even then, it extrapolates, it extrapolates, it extrapolates. And then, you ha and then all of a sudden, you have a group of people that are highly dependent on you for their for their well-being and because of their dependency they become entitled and they become arrogant so yeah it's just, it's a fucking it's a dumb paradigm guys so i, I don't want to I, I don't really want to argue with anyone on that because like if, if you and, and then i get people in my fucking uh, that tell me oh yeah of course you don't want to argue about it because you know you're wrong like what the fuck that's basic logic what the <laughs> one plus one equals two bro 
Two equals ten dollars per meal. Oh, per... Don't vomit in my room. Cat, if you vomit in my room, I'm going to kick you out. Bro, why are you looking at me like that? Why would you come in my room and just vomit? Bro, you can't do this. I'm recording a video, dude. There's nothing on my screen. Why are you staring at my screen for? Fong! Get out of my room, dude. Why are you just looking at me like that? Okay, I'm going back to I'm going to my video. Uh, fuck that shit, man. Where was I? Oh, I think I was talking about the, the, the money paradigm with a billion dollar, you know. Like, bro, I think they already tried it, actually, and it didn't work so well. Oh, surprise, surprise. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, who's going who's gonna to fucking, who's gonna fucking feed them? Like, you're, you're not going to feed them. You know, you, everyone, everyone these days knows that charities are corrupt, and they just want to fucking profit off the suffering of, of the masses. So people are not going to give money to charities. So what's going on? Like, and, it, and no charity can truly be non-profit, because if it was completely non-profit, then they wouldn't be able to help more people. Like, they, there needs to be a profit, so these people can be helped, or people can be a thing. They can be incentivized, they can be an, an incentive for people to do good, even. Like, it, 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 is, it is like that, guys, because people are inherently selfish. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, all these people that, you know, fucking sit in front of cars, um... This is this is really straying off the path of my video. All the people that straight sit on, uh, like and crawl, but you know you know people that fucking that sit on the motorway, you know in front of cars and fucking block everyone in traffic because they want to spread their agenda. Those people are inherently selfish because they're not doing it because oh it's it's gonna fucking save the world. They're doing it because they want to feel like they're doing something. They want to feel included. They want to feel like they're making a, a contribution, a positive contribution to society when they're actually just making a net negative. Anyway, enough of that argument. We're here to talk about the black pill. And I'm here to say the black pill is very real, but the black pill is simultaneously very stupid. And that those two aren't, you know, mutually exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Those two aren't like, like forever separate. You know what I'm saying? Those two can go in line. For example, you know, I, I can't, uh, this is, okay, this is a bit of an inappropriate example, so I'm not going to say it. However, I'm going to give it another, another example. For example... What is a stupid thing in nature? Nature? Night. Nature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that shit real quick. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let's let me cook. I'm back with the GPT, bro. Okay. Alright. So, let's look at that angle, angler fish. Angler fish is a fish in the deep sea, right? And the male's role is to find a female. And fuse with her. Like, as soon, as soon like he finds a female, he fuses with her and becomes like a parasite on this female, and then dies. That's kind of stupid. It's the truth, but it's stupid. Like, the truth is, go back to the truth. I almost forgot what point I was making there. But the truth is, if you are a sub five male, you are ugly. You are short. You know that guy in the Jordan Barry video isn't even fucking. Uh, isn't even short. He's ugly. Right? And he's uncanny. They didn't take care of himself. And there's no doubt in my mind if he did take care of himself, he was on his fitness, on his skincare. Like, it's basic shit, guys. It's like, it's like wiping your fucking ass up you take a shit. Like, seriously. Like, this is so dumb. Oh, I'm gonna give up because, like, yes, black pill is real. Of course it's real. Red pill is also simultaneously real. All the vitamins are real. The blue pills are simultaneously real. Look at fucking Destiny, bro. He's the living embodiment of blue pills. See what happened to him? His fucking his cut wife left him, bro. <laughs> that's funny. I can't lie. Uh, that's funny. That's actually funny. But you know, I don't wish that on any man. But that is, bro. He he, like he went to he went to like fucking hell and back to argue for his relationship, and it just backfired in his face. And th the guy. Oh my god, guys. The guy that she ended up being with is like a, a level below Destiny. He's, I'm sure he's poorer. Destiny's a fucking millionaire. And, <laughs> and, I'm, and he's fucking, he's much uglier, bro. And, he, and I'm, I'm, bro, I, I, don't, I just want to say that. But he threads off himself and everything, bro. That is just a fucking law. That is, that is a, that's such a fucking funny ass situation.
I'm seeing I'm seeing a line of things. I used to consider myself a pessimist, and as a result, I was kind of on black pill before I even knew black pill was a thing, and before even black pill was a thing. You know, five years ago, it wasn't a thing. I was always already a pessimist. I was already fucking depressed. I don't think half a decade ago, black pill was a thing, but I'm sure there was a bunch of pessimistic, ugly, sub-five men who were blaming external factors for their own faults. Like, like, what the fuck? There is, this has existed since the dawn of time. What, happened to the, what has happened to those men now? They haven't fucking, they haven't fucking left legacies. That they've, they've become a statistic. They've become a number. They've become nothing. And God knows, they probably didn't even live a happy life. And then a bit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it's just... A lot of the guys in, black, in the Black Pill space are just jaded. Like, I was listening to DBDR, this Black Pill YouTuber who's quite prominent. Like, what the fuck is his problem, bro? Like, he, like he's sleeping in his car to avoid his mother. Now, fair enough. Like, the single mom thing is pretty, is pretty real. The single mom pill, I don't, know what, I don't know if it's called single mom pill or not, but... I'm gonna call it a single mom pill. Yeah, it is true that like single moms are fucking emotionally like a, a deranged. Like I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, they're fucking, they're they they're emotional charts all over the place. To be perfectly honest with you, it's never gonna be enough. Even when I was fucking working, my mom was always on my case, always finding something to complain. And I sat down, being a man that I am, being a young man, 18 years old, as of 2023, I decided instead of fucking bickering about, I'm gonna you know, talk to you person to person, and find out the root cause of things. Is it because you're feeling fucking lonely because you have no man to, in your life and you're probably not going to get one? Like, the, that, the red pill truth, like, it honestly makes me sad. I'm pretty sure the majority of young men on the red pill, in the red pill space or in the self space, they understand one core like, component with the fucking the, the woman dynamic, right? Women over 30 struggle to find someone, like, meaningful. Yeah, it's true. Like, it's very true. And if they do find someone, it's going to be, like, some fucking sub-five male or some ugly-ass dude that they settle with. And they're never going to feel like it's enough. And they feel like they, they can do better. But if they do find better, it's like it's not even, it's not even good enough then. You know what I'm saying? It's a vicious, like, toxic, like, gross cycle. And, like, uh, in the whole argument in the first place, that, oh, yeah, women have an unfair advantage to men. Like, that is also simultaneously vicious and toxic and, and idiotic. Because think about it like this. Women have... Because like, you, if, you are, if you're in the red pill space, you understand women have like a limited window to find the right guy. If they're 35 and a virgin, bro, like, they're going to still be incredibly undesirable. They're going to be better off than like, a man loser. Like, like I said in the previous video, a woman loser is about different to, to men losers. But like, it's going to be much fucking better uh, at a 35-year-old virgin compared to a female virgin, to, compared to a fucking male virgin. Like, what the fuck? That, that is the brutal red pill. Uh, but are they going to find anyone, anyone meaningful? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't fucking know, guys. I, I really don't know. Probably not. Statistics, shows, statistics say no. Where was I? On the previous point. Black pill guys are jaded. I genuinely believe this. Black pill, the thing is... Like... You can have ideologies that don't benefit you. Alright? See it as cause and effect. And, and everyone's gonna be th- gonna be thinking I'm yapping or some shit. And, and I get that a lot as well, but I'm genuinely spitting out my soul out here, guys. I'm spitting out my soul in these fucking these MP3 videos. I'm gonna have to turn into fucking Batman Arkham Knight gameplay with images as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add images as well so you guys can feel fucking included, so you guys can see a bit of my thought process as well. So, yeah, more work for me. Yay. But think about it like this, okay? Person A and person B. Person A has regressive ideologies. He eats, f- he eats shit. He doesn't exercise. Or, or doesn't even exercise regularly. He doesn't do any productive work. He hates his life. And he doesn't seek to change his life. He only blames the circumstances in his life on, you know, negative things. On external things. External, like, you know, or consequences. External factors. He never really takes accountability for his actions. Compare that to person B. Person B is in the same position as person A. He's extremely, extremely dedicated, motivated, and disciplined. He understands the nuance of cause and effect. He understands if he works hard every single day to support his, to his highest potential, then not only will he achieve his potential, he can probably seek to go beyond that. He understands that if he works extremely hard every single day on his business, for example, he will make a lot of money. You know, as you, when you're an entrepreneur, your income is usually based on the amount of work you do 
simultaneously he exercises every single day and he's extremely, 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 extremely self-reliant and how do I say this? What was the word again? Reiterating. Constantly trying to evolve. Constantly trying to be better. Okay, so now you've seen the two individuals. Where will both individuals be? And these are two people in the same exact position. They could be fucking roommates. Where will the two people be in the next 10 fucking years? Answer that question, bro. Do you think person B will be better off? Do you think person A will be better off with his regressive ideology? I hate my fucking life. My job sucks. You know, I'm not, I'm not hitting the gym or whatever. I'm, I, I could just spend money anyway. I could get McDonald's anyway. I'm, I'm outside anyway, so I might as well just get like, food outside. You know, waste money. Like, who, who, who will be better off? You know, or person B, like, fucking, I'm diligent. Like, I'm fucking working hard. I'm, going to, I'm hitting the gym every single fucking day. I'm cooking at home, saving money. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing the best I can every single fucking day. I just made a sale today. Let's fucking go. 500 pounds. Like, who is going to be better off in 10 fucking years? Bro, of course it's going to be fucking person B. I'm not even going like, to, like, push you around. You already know the answer. It's cause and effect, ladies and gentlemen. Holy fuck. Like, it's, it's, it, this is black pill shit. It's, gonna, it's a regressive ideology. It's the truth, but it's, like, regressive. Like, I'm, when I was a fucking rice cell, like, I admit this with, like, 10 out of 10 honesty. 10 out, like, I'm not making any money off these videos. I don't care. Like, I've been making, I have like almost 400 uploads, maybe 400 uploads already, and I, I mean zero. I don't, I don't give a fuck, I'm doing this so I can push out my message. Uh, I can be authentic, I mean, be truthful, like, holy fuck, guys. And when I was a fucking 3 out of 10 rice cell, like, I, I wasn't happy. I wanted, to, I wanted to off myself a few times. I tried to off myself a few times, I wasn't in a good place. Like, what, what's going on there? I didn't exercise regularly, I exercised maybe once per week. If that was a fucking good week, I exercise once per week. You know, I wasn't tracking my habits. I wasn't meticulous with it. I wasn't trying to earn money. I wasn't trying to, you know, fucking become better. I wasn't trying to reiterate. I wasn't trying to journal. I wasn't trying to be grateful. I wasn't trying to save money, stay, stay at home. I was fucking spending money like a dickhead. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna fucking die anyway. Uh, so I might just spend money. Uh, I don't care. Uh, money. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't leave the, the earth with money. You don't, you don't. You don't die with all your money. You don't lose. You, you don't lose And when winners see the same exact fucking things. It just, their motivations when saying those things are completely and utterly different. Like, it's, like a, it's like a spectrum, guys. And the losers and winners are on the opposite sides of the spectrum. However, the, mid, the middle ground is the fucking speech that they use. It, it's always the speech that they fucking use. Oh, yeah. Like, I, a, a, good, a good guy, a good guy, like a fucking, like a, like a fucking multi millionaire that I know personally, he says it to me often, a lot of, like black pill ideology in quotations. But... He's, he's an accomplished, successful dude. He's got a beautiful girlfriend. You know, he lives in an upstate place in the, uh, in the UK. You know, he's got a lot of money. He has, he's done everything he's ever wanted. Supercars or everything. Like. He says it to me often as well. You know, you don't, you don't leave this planet without it. The money. Yeah. You don't leave your pl this planet without... No, you don't leave this planet with your money. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, and I'm back. Does this mic work? I think this thing... This is, it looks like it works on my screen. Uh, it might not seem like I've been gone for... At all, since I'm just recording again. As normal. However, I've been gone for a while. And... Yeah, I made a glorified sound booth. With my mattress, it looks hilarious. I really gotta show you this, guys. It's fucking, it looks so goofy, but it gets the job done, you know. Like, I'm using a. Uh, the reason why I asked the reason, like, why this mic works, is because I'm using like uh, my mattress as like a booth. No, that's it's secondary. I'm using a fucking a pair of headphones or earphones that only work on one side. And yeah, honestly. So to add to my point, you know what I'm saying, it took a minute to think about this, I'm fucking bleeding, I don't know why. Uh, to add to my point, what I was saying before about you know, the black pill, like the majority of like, like here, here's a black pilling truth for you. You know, there's fucking fluoride in the water. Fluoride acts as a testosterone androgen receptor or something. I'm not sure about the complete nuance. You know, it isn't because the government's trying to make you weaker, but most likely because the government's trying to filter out water and they thought it would be more efficient 
to add chemicals to the water instead of filtering the water out entirely. And as a result, men have become weaker, lower testosterone, everything from you know the now, etc., etc. This there, there, there is no doubt in my mind as well that there is probably a government incentive to fucking make make men weaker and make men fucking losers. There's no doubt in my mind this is probably the case. But on the flip side, you know, the government probably wants the best from people because it wants it wants to profit from the people, right? And if they kill everyone, then who's there to profit from? It's a whole other conspiracy theorist. But that's kind of just logic in general, like. And as a result of this, like, you know, you don't you fucking walk down the street. Like, if you want to talk about sub-5 male, just walk down the street, bro. Everyone's a fucking sub-5 male. And fucking all the dudes are just ugly. And, like, there's a hot... I don't know about you guys, but there's a hot girl in every single fucking corner. I don't even blame girls for trying to be lesbian. Even though it doesn't work because financial issues, but... Like, think about it, guys. Like, you walk down the street, and, like, all the guys are... Maybe middle aged, maybe young, but like young but fucking ugly, bro. Like maybe some of the white guys, the young and like it's just a very weird white, white guy thing. Like they're young and they're handsome and they grow up to be like fucking hideous. <laughs> they let themselves go. The genetics can't fucking hold up anymore. They got getting like belly fat. The you know the, the beer belly, whatever it is. No, like shit. You can see the ass crack. Even Prince Harry, like Prince Harry's a fucking an insane example of this. Like you know him falling off his fitness habits, falling off his. You know, his his initial sort of military type habits, military routine, he gets fat. Like, in, in in a vlog, if I can find it, like, you can see it's absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I'm imagining it in my head right now. It's fucking like, what on earth is that, mate? Like, royal family, yeah? Fucking royal ass crack, mate. Jesus Christ. Like, he's, like, he's, he's in, like, a mansion. He just moved into his mansion with his, with his fucking three or four wife. His, you know, NBA passed around C tier, D tier. Oh, yeah, D tier in general, because she'd be taking D like it's nobody's business. Wife, Meghan Markle. Like, oh, yeah, she's pretty, of course, but, like, fucking hell, mate. Like, she's used goods, lad. Like, fucking hell. Like, I, I don't even want to be rude in like, saying that. But, anyway, like, you look at him, like, even he's, like, fucking, you know, not even, like, attractive anymore. He's, he's kind of fallen off. He's fallen off, like, in, in his habits and everything in general. And then you look at the guys on the street, just the average male. Like, that's that's the fucking prince. At least he's, he, you know, he got social status from birth. He'll still be okay. He got money from birth. He'll still be okay. And he's got like his money from like, like that book exposing his family. He'll be he'll be okay, mate. He can he can he can ignore his physicality a little bit. Although it would be better if he did focus on it. Like he would probably see more. You know what I'm saying, guys. So like. Uh, <sighs> Look, look back, look black on the on the black pill in general. Here's here's the black pilling truth. Like like I was saying before, apologize for going on that tangent. But like, bro, there's a hot girl in every single corner. Like I just walk down, I just walk outside, and I see in central London at least, I see hot women everywhere. I see hot girls everywhere. Like fuck, but like the the ratio to like you know handsome, you know tall. It doesn't even need to be tall. Just like you know hardworking, fit, handsome guys. It is extremely slow. Maybe I'm just fucking straight as hell, and I just don't see it. But like, you guys, the unkempt, you guys are fucking atrocious. Like, what on earth is wrong with you guys? Unkempt, skinny, skinny fat, fat. There's a reason why that's the statistic. That's the test. Dude, Jesus Christ, that is a fucking tongue twister. There's a reason why that's the statistic. Like, you know, 80% of men are skinny, skinny fat, or fat. Like, it, it doesn't surprise me, mate. Like, fucking hell, take, look, at the, look at the state of these guys. Like, oh, it's just atrocious. It's, it's honestly atrocious, guys. Holy fuck. Like walk down the street, like everyone is just like, what, what, what about the pub before 40 tonight, lads? Like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's fucking geezers. This is the United Kingdom, I, I can't even, like, in, in the United Kingdom, although obese and full of obese people, it is nowhere near America. I can't I, like, fathom America where, like, 30% of the population, 40% of the population, I believe, is obese. Like, that is, that, like, what? And the whole reason as well, like, not, not only because of fluoride and uh, uh, the environmental factors, I believe that's only one component of why men look like shit. Like, that, although that is a black pilling truth, you know, it's just one component of, like, the fucking big paradigm. Because I'm sure fucking all the, all the successful guys, they probably drink tap water. They have, like, plastic in their diet somehow, some way or another. Or microplastics in their diet somehow, some way or another. Even though they're probably fucking focused super hard on the, you know, eating clean and extra everything, etc., etc. Although... Like, they probably consume plastic as long as, like, perhaps, obviously to a lesser degree than, you know, the fucking sub-5 f- sub ugly guys you see out there on the street. But, like, they fuck- their hard work ethic and everything else, their lifestyle, it just comes together. And as a result, they're better off. 
you know, I, 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 I thought about this like thoroughly. I haven't heard anyone say this, but like the whole reason why women look better on average compared to men, like the reason why women look better is because women care about their fucking looks, bro. And I don't think I've heard anyone say that. It's like common sense, no? Like looks maxing, stand maxing, this jaw maxing, this maxing. It's all buzzwords for like just giving a fuck about your appearance. It's all a buzzword. It's all bullshit. It's all like a, it's all like um, it's all trying to like. It's like it's like when companies try to mask a, a, a old product with like fucking like like. I don't know if you guys understand this reference. Like old companies fucking mask their old products with like a new name and they just relabel it and they put it in stores and hoping the fucking consumers will, you know, eat it up all over again. But then consumers are fucking intelligent now, so like it, w- it, won't, it won't work. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like NVIDIA trying to release the fucking 460 with a 10% uh, in- upgrade. And they're like, oh my God, buy the 460, 460 is so good. It's not going to fucking work, guys. You know what I'm saying, guys? The majority of women care about their looks. Looks maxing is just a buzzword. It's just, looks maxing is just a new word for just caring about how you look. Like that, that's that's the truth. I mean, there's there's no other other paradigm there. Like that, that's, the, that's the only thing that's happening right now, and it's just frustrating. It's annoying. It's it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, like uh, if guys care about their looks, they care about their skincare, care about their hair. They they cold showers. You know, they they fucking if they're balding, mono, minoxidil. You know what I'm saying, guys? You you worry you worry about the right shit, then of course you're gonna look better. Like it's just. Like black pilling, yeah, it's 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 true. Like I I don't know, I, I've said it multiple times in this video. Yeah, bro, it's fucking. I'm not gonna fucking like like refute you on like the truth, but it's simultaneous. Like the the blue pill is also true to a degree as well. Like if you're a fucking if you're a knight, a soy boy, then you probably will find like a, a hot wife. But she probably is probably ran through, and she probably is using you and <clears throat> destiny and. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, fucking hell, man. <laughs> she probably will leave you to for a fucking another sub five geek who has a, a bit more money or a bit more game or whatever it is. Bro, got that fucking suicide riz. Hell, no, nah. I'm not. Bro, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But like, that's 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 the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Like, fucking hell. Like, it's also the truth that like you know, a, a woman who's thirty five years old, who's maybe got like a high body count. And but she still takes care of her. She goes to the gym and she's pretty or whatever. She probably land a guy who's a bit of a fucking loser, like another th- thirty six, thirty seven, maybe someone who's younger. Because you know, older women love to pray in fucking younger guys. Maybe like a twenty year old dude, like would like fucking Ian Gary. You know what I'm saying? The UFC fighter with a scandal with like his wife's fucking four years old and and the husband's still living them as a nutritionist. Like oh my god, bro, that is textbook NTR cuck holdery. Holy shit, fucking hell. Like oh my god, <laughs> like yeah, that's that's a black pill. That's a, even even guys on that level. He's pretty tall. He's handsome. He's a fighter and everything. Like he's got money as well. Like he's still he's still getting cucked. Like he's like yeah, there's the black pill, there's the blue pill, but the red pill is also like yeah, it's the truth. I I can get simultaneously. I can just say no. I, I lose a bit of like you know milf fucking milf ussy, and then I just move on and I find fucking cure girls. That like eighteen and nineteen that are younger and like cute as well. Like what the guys you you watching this video. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? And a lot of black pillar guys watch my video is like what the fuck? Stop. Stop. Well, just think for a moment. Like that there, there's a reason why you have multivitamins, bro. There's a reason why people call it pills. No, just because it was like a matrix reference, it's also because you get to choose what pill you swallow. Like holy fuck. Like oh my god, and then and they come up with like oh yeah rice rice cell cope, rice cell cope, curry cell cope, white cell cope, black cell cope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everyone has their fucking cell cope. <laughs> it's like it's just infuriating to me. It's infuriating to hear. It's just it's so backwards thinking. What did I say about person A, person B before? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's dumb, man. And I wanted to address something about, you know, single mums as well, because that's pretty back truth that I will agree with as well. I, I, I'll fucking I'll agree with everything you say, but I'm not going to fucking... I'm, I'll agree, but I'm not going to, like... You know what I'm saying? Like it's, like, it's like the communist paradigm, in my opinion. 
And my communist friend reached out to me. He was like, oh, yeah, you, uh, it seems that we agree with a lot of things, but, you know, you approach things a different way. I'm like, yeah, exactly. That's exactly the point. Like, I, I fucking, he's a communist. He talked about how communists are so good. And have you seen this book by Lenin? Have you seen this good by fucking, oh, my God, look at these th good communist things. And, like, bro, think, think about how communists have been executed. You are stupid. It's been tried. It failed. Okay? It is negative. It hasn't factored in human greed and the consequences of it. People at the top will want to remain at the top. People at the bottom will want their share of whatever it is for doing absolutely jack shit. That's the reality of communism. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Like, my, I'm, I'm brown Vietnamese. Like, my country suffered so, so many years because of communism. <laughs> it suffered so much because of communism. Oh, relatives, like, you know, my, at that time, my nourish dead. Like, it, it, is, it is even that long ago. Like, co the, the Vietnam War. It, it, is it even, a, it's like, maybe more than, a bit more than 50 years ago. I'm not sure, I'm not really keen with my history. But, like, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, guys? I, I agree, but I'm going to fucking subscribe to the ideology to the point where I'm going to execute it 100%. Like, it's like when you, it's like when you preach the tr like the the truth, the basics. Like, it's like, oh, like, duh, okay. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, why are you trying so hard to push your ideology so much? And the single mom thing as well. Like, here's another black pilling truth. Like, single moms are just fucking. I see a Reddit. Po if I can find this Reddit post, I'll 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 literally go to hell and back and look for this Reddit post. Um. I had it a part of my, like, my fucking YouTube sh uh, YouTube community sh like post I was going to do. But, yeah, it's just, like, it was, like, a single mom who was, like, 30-something with a kid. And, like, she found a guy who, you know, take care of the kid really well. And it's really great and everything. Pardon me. But she found a guy like, to really take care of the kid and everything. But she thinks to herself, oh, yeah, I could do better. You know what I'm saying? She's one of them girls. Here's the reality: if if a girl is demented enough to be a single mom, or like unlucky enough, like my mom was unlucky in a sense, but like even then, like she's still a single mom, bro. <laughs> so she calls herself that. So like you're gonna get the fucking negative, negative, and she hang around. Like, my, my mom's friends are fucking three or four. So I have to admit the truth. Like Jesus Christ, it is very embarrassing. Um, uh, I, I remember DBDR saying, I'm gonna shift away from the topic a little bit. Uh, I remember DBDR saying, like, yeah, he sleeps in his car. He's like 19 or something or 20. I don't, I don't know what his, his exact age, if I remember correctly, but he's a black pill YouTuber, like I said previously. But it's been like three hours since I've been able to record this because my mom came home and I don't want to start an argument because it's just fuck, it's just a long day. Because even if you're right, you're wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's, it's all emotional. A woman, they all behave this way. You know, they leave with their emotion. They don't leave with logic. Like it's very rare if you do find a woman who leaves with logic, or or has emotion, leads with emotion, but still is empathetic enough to understand that her fucking actions actually have consequences. She can't just jump around being a fucking idiot and like expects everyone like to, to clean up after her. It's like it's like the whole shopping bag thing and the, the whole minor thing. Like previously, I would do the shopping bag. I've been doing it for years. I would wash the dishes, I would do the, all the household chores, A to Z. And she wouldn't really know it. She'll come home, she'll watch her movies, and then, you know, she'll go to sleep and work the next day. Bro, d d when I stopped doing it, <laughs> it was just fucking constant, 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 constant shit. And even when I was working, and I literally didn't have time to do it, I only had time to do it like once per week, because I would work 9 to 5, I would leave the house 6 a.m., and then I would, by the time I'm ready, I'd be 6.30. 7 a.m. I'm out of the house. One hour 30 commute. 8:30 I would arrive. So like in total 6 a.m. Like at 8:30 I would arrive half an hour early. But if I if I missed the 6 a.m. clock by like 10 minutes, I would be late another 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It would extrapolate for some weird reason. I guess because of rush hour that time, everyone's going to work. So I I would be doing that, and then I would come home like 7 p.m. straight up. So I would be out of the house 6 a.m. I would come home at 7 p.m. and she still had something to say. So I do like I do agree with DBDR's sentiment of like sleeping in your car, trying to find peace in his house or in in, in his life, and you know trying to trying to like you know fucking like mitigate that um, in the best way he can. 
And yeah, I, I I agree with it two hundred percent. like I really agree with it two hundred percent. But the problem is is with this ideology is that, you know, you when you run away, you don't really achieve anything. Run away and become nothing. I've said I think I've said this in my previous video, but yeah, it's just like, you run away and like you run away from your problems and then you don't really get anywhere. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like Deep Dr. He runs away from his like psychopathic mother. Like, Perhaps to me as well, and you don't like flurry, flourish in the chaos. You don't fucking sit in the chaos like that dog. And that this is fine meme with this house burning all around him. This is how you have to be. Why? Because when you, when the things are so shit, when you're like folks so fucking tantalized. Is tantalized the right word? When you're so ostracized and you're so fucking lonely, and you're like you feel lonely even though you have like friends and family around you. When it's like that, like that frustration can convert to you know a very deep level of not even motivation, like purpose. Like I need to get the fuck out, and that feeling of needing to get the fuck out is deeper than motivation because motivation comes and goes. It's like a ghost, motherfucker, man. But like that deep, like seated feeling of, oh, bro, I need bro, this fucking this shit. Mom was shagging me, or like when you're gritting your teeth and shit, and, like she's just shagging you. You can't even say anything because she pays rent. And I, <laughs> it's like one of those situations, you know what I'm saying? Like when it when it's that bad, like that is when you work harder. That is when you employ discipline, uh, d deploy discipline. You deploy motivation. You deploy all your arsenals, your all your tools in your arsenal, and then you fucking grind. Head down to the stone to get the fuck out because you know like it, it's not gonna be good if you stay. It's not gonna be good at all if you stay. It's fucking horrible, man. It's like, yeah, I, bro. I, I'm there. I'm there. Like, I do remember a moment when I was a bit like that. I I was more productive. I think like I was. I was ever before. Like when you just, it's like when, when you like you have a job and you fucking hate your job. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know that meme having a job, having no job. Like, it is, it is the same feeling, the same shitty feeling, like, on both sides. If if, if you feel this way, like the, only, the only way you're going to get out is through your own business, making more money, finding a better job, like, with a work culture that you love, with a work, like, play environment that you love. I, it's either that or just fucking, just like, getting so much money to the point where you're irrefutable. Like, you just, like, even if it's, like, okay, this is a lot of money, like, five grand, six grand a month, like, you're out, bro. You're out the door, Start looking for places. Start quietly moving out. Like the best thing you can do, yeah. Best thing you can do, and it's it is realistic in my opinion. It's just you know, it's gonna sound fucking like crazy, but this is also a black pilling truth as well because this happens all the time. You become a millionaire, and then you leave. Like you want to solve your problems with your your abusive, your emotionally psychopathic abusive mother, you become a millionaire, and then you leave. Let's calculate. You know. 20 years of her life raising you. She let's for example, let's say she, she makes fifty thousand pounds a year, which is roughly around eight thousand dollars, I think. I don't know what the exact uh, conversion rate. I think it was point three. I'm not sure exactly, but let's say it's eight thousand, seventy thousand dollars, right, per year. It probably isn't the case. But let's just say it's that. That's how much money she makes. I I I don't have an intimate knowledge of how much my mother makes. I don't care, it's not my business. At the end of the day, I'm bro, I'm gonna fart. Okay, I just farted. It was fucking. It was really, bro. It was really bad. I'm dying out here. Anyways, let, let's 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 for continuity. Let's just say she makes fifty grand a year, right? Fifty times twenty. That's a million. A co plus the cost of like the flat cost of raising a kid, two hundred fifty k. You give your mom. This is very realistic, by the way. And people might think to myself, oh, it's not realistic because only a certain percentage amount of people. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, but then again, the certain like the majority of people don't fucking they don't work hard enough, so that isn't a, like, a viable statistic in my opinion, because it's also incredibly viable that you know it's it's very like as you see in, all, all the time in Asian families, you know the Asian like the Asian kid really wants to take care of their parents, but their parents are just assholes or some shit or like it's they, but then when it comes to money, they're like oh it's okay you don't have to take care of us, but deep down they don't they want you to take care of them, you know what I'm saying? They're not like they're just bounce around the topic. I hate when people do that. That's like fucking negative. That's negative social skills, bro. That's like like minus level one social skills, bro. That's minus level two social skills, bro. Oh, just bounce around the fucking topic. Like just say what you need to say. Like be fucking upfront. To, like, this is how this is how like, you know you, you understand people. You understand each other. Being truthful, being honest, being fucking, being, being proper. Don't fucking like around on the topic and just be weird about it. You give mixed signals. The kids don't they don't fucking they don't understand nuance. They just understand honesty. Like even I don't I I struggle to understand nuance sometimes. I, I'm not gonna fucking oh wait he actually meant this like it's, uh, ah what the fuck if you're a parent to your kid like it, or if it's like a fucking girl that likes you sure that's her way of like fucking shooting her shot just give me a glance yeah whatever but if it's like a your fucking parent like what the fuck 
Like, it doesn't matter if it's a, you're a man or a woman. Like, say what you need to say. Tell me what you need. You want me to do? Like, what the fuck? It, 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 like, even if I did tell them what I, I, what I was, I was gonna do, like, they still want my case. So, like, get off my dick, mom. Get off my dick, dad. Pause. Like, I got a job. They are still shouting at me. They are still fucking saying, "Oh, you need to wash the dishes. You need to do this." Like, bro, I got fuck. I come home at fucking seven p.m. Man, I got a business to run, and then I'm and then I'm I'm asleep in three hours. What the fuck? I got three hours to work on my business, and I got the fucking weekend I'm working as well. You're lucky I'm even doing it on the fucking weekend. I don't even eat that much. I eat four through a through three meals a day, but like, it's packed lunch most of the time. Fucking meal prep. And then at breakfast, I just eat like a meal prep as well, like a meal prep burrito. I just it takes no dishes, and dinner I, uh, that's the only time I take dishes, and I I clean once per week, and I clean once per week religiously as well, and it's fucking clean. Like it's just you call them out on their bullshit, and they're always gonna be on your case. Listen, 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 listen. You might be listening to this thinking, oh my god, this fucking rela- this is relates too hard. Oh my god, this- bro, we've all been through this. The most realistic outcome, the most realistic way you mitigate this is becoming a fucking millionaire. 1.2 million, yeah, 1.2 th- 1.25 million, yeah. Put it in a fucking suitcase, pack your shit, leave. Bye. The best, the best is even better if you can just leave your room like with no furniture. It's fucking, you know, if you got like something stuck to the wall, just unscrew that bitch. Just slowly, slowly do it over the course of like a month, two months, and get the fuck out. Never look back. And you might be like, "Oh, but you're you're an asshole to your parents. You don't take care of your parents, bro." Like, what? C- come to me and apologize. Oh, but then they'll never apologize to you because their thing is ego. Yeah, sure. So they die alone and they get to fucking sent to the care house. Like what? And my mom legitimately fear was, was telling me once, like, "Oh, you're just gonna send me to a care house." Yeah, yeah. If you keep acting like this, mate, fucking hell. Be a good parent. Be a good, be understanding, man. When I when I sit down to communicate with you, understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, guys. I I, I take the liberty to you know their their heads are so so hard screwed on. They don't bother listening because they think they know better. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you know better. That rot in that care home. Like yeah, you know better. Where's your retirement plan? Where's your, you need a few million to requ- to retire these days? Where is it? Oh, it's not there. Okay, cool. Like, what the fuck? Drop that 1.2 mil. If she's dumb and she's stupid, spends it on fucking furniture. Or dead, or the parents are dumb and spend on furniture. A woman, you, you, you know, it's, it's a fucking dumb red pill thing. That I agree with so much. Women will get like a million dollars a month. Spend it on furniture. Men will get a million dollars a month and invest it. Let's say it's 50-50. Invest it. Like, she's, my mom knows jack squat about investing. She doesn't bother to, but isn't really bothered to learn. She doesn't care. She has time. Like, she, I, I literally know she fucking spends time fucking watching movies and dumb shit. I know she has time to fucking you know, learn about investing, learn about entrepreneurship, learn about all this shit. But like, it is unrealistic for me to say that she wants to be an entrepreneur. But it's more unrealistic for you to say. Let, let, the realism thing is is weird. Let me. It's nuanced. Let me tell you. This, let me the truth. If your parent right is struggling, they're not making ends meet. They're not making that much money. But then they're like, oh yeah, my life's really hard. Like. No, you're stupid. You're not spending your time right. Sure. And it is completely unrealistic for them to become an entrepreneur, a millionaire, or whatever it is, or make a lot of money because it isn't within their identity to do so. But if it's your, like, if you understand, if you just see the opportunity or you see the, like, option as available, even if it is semi-difficult or incredibly difficult, if you see the option as available, it is much more realistic for you to become a millionaire. Put that in your head. Put that in your fucking head, bro. That's a that's a black pill truth in my opinion, because the black pill truth is a lot of a lot of like you know these millionaire entrepreneurs. Here's a here's a fucking black pill truth that doesn't even make sense, but it's a fucking black pill truth. On paper, it is black pill because like these millionaire entrepreneurs, they're not fucking with their parents twenty four seven. Care home, servant, maid. Yeah, you live in the house, whatever. But I'm busy. I'm doing other shit. I'm I'm, I'm my own person now. Like, they, they fucking neglect their parents. Like that, the, the millennial generation, they've been neglecting their parents. Like the, the the generation that's like forty, thirty to forty right now, are like they they failed their parents in a way. Like previously, like you know, old people would be like almost revered for their wisdom and intelligence and the hard work ethic and what they've done for the family. Yeah, it's, that's not the case anymore. Nobody gives a fuck. I'm close to my fucking friends. That 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 my grandparents, like my great grandfather died. I was extremely sad, but like I wasn't. Like a tear flew uh, flown down my eye, but I'm I'm sure if my one of my close friends died, I'd be much sadder. Like, think about that paradigm for a second. My literal ancestor. Like, there's there's like, 
that's that's the most blackpilling like truth ever. Like the the, corru- the corruption and like destruction of families in real time. Like, you want you want to talk about black pill? That's black pill. Millionaire entrepreneurs. Oh yeah, mom. Here's a million pound a month. Here's a million pound a year. Yeah, I'm 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 back to Ibiza with my seven girlfriends. Like whatever, I don't care. That yeah, it, like what 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 else am I gonna tell you to do? Take care of your parents forever, and then then be ungrateful for you there. Like if if they don't become grateful for you, and if, if you if you do, like, this this is this is this is you, and I know most of you individuals won't fucking well, most of you guys won't fucking like you know do this to the like, max degree, but like think about it like this: you communicate with your with your parents, right? You say to them, hey, I work extremely hard for this. I know you've made my life extremely easy, easier. You know that meme where it's like, you know, parents when their kid's life is easier. But well, back in my day, to get to school, uh, uh, I, I just address everything. Address everything. Everything that's pent up. When you're like 20 or something, and you got your shit together, or you're... Um, yeah, when you're 20, you got your shit together. Come on, like, if, you're, if you're 20, you don't have your shit together. What the fuck's going on? And when you're a bit older, 25 to 30 maybe communicate with them, sit down with them, you know, talk to them, look at them eye to eye, have social skills, have uh, fucking win friends, how to win friends and influence people, have all these things for your laws of power, understand Machiavellian tactics, because they will probably use them to try to manipulate you in order to take care of them and doing fucking jack shit with their fucking lives for the rest of their lives, like, understand all the things and address everything with utmost preparation and critical thinking, because listen guys, your parents are banking on you becoming successful because they failed. Here's a black pain. That's a black pain truth. Here's another black pain truth. Your parents are probably trying to are probably uh, unknowingly probably semi manipulative people because they think to themselves, oh yeah, because I took care of my kid for ten years, eighteen years, twenty years. They should take care of me for the, my next sixty. I don't. I don't. I don't really. I don't really disagree with that logic. To be perfectly honest with you. But if they're assholes about it, like, what the fuck? Like, why would I do it if you're an asshole about it? <coughs> get home, <coughs> get home. Like, what the fuck? Guys. Like, here, here's the reality. Like, you sit down. Like, I'm going to continue here. You sit down, you communicate with them. Hey, I'm working extremely hard. I'm working fucking hard as fuck. I make a lot of money now. And I wouldn't, I'm not going to put you in this care home. But I want to take care of you personally with a maid. I'm going to keep you around and close. So we can keep contact 24-7. I do appreciate family. But if you are going to treat me like this, like my little fucking kid, then I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna support you. And I can send you to a care home and I'm gonna save so much money more money that way. And it, it and if if and unless it's completely fucking fake and you can see, but if it's genuine gratitude that they get from you as a result of it, then sure you should fucking support them. But if it is like it's just like, oh you can't say that I'm your father, or I'm your mother, you and they're like fucking like fifty or something like or sixty over the hill, like goodbye. Like don't be like just because you're my parent doesn't mean you're liable to be a fucking asshole to me. Jesus, like, holy shit. I want to take care of an asshole. Yeah, but my my great grandfather, and you know, he 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 cheated on like he cheated on my wife uh, on his wife my wife what he cheated on my wife what he cheated on his wife at the time. And uh, he he went to, to go Hong Kong with his other wife, and when the other wife died, the other family didn't want to take care of him because he was probably fucking same way he was with my family. And then he had to come back begging begging the, my my family to to, to fucking to fucking be taken care of. Like that's such a common occurrence. Like, don't be don't be a dick. Don't be an asshole. You know, th- there's a difference between being stern and you know tough love, and being a fucking asshole. And uh, the, the 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 line. It's usually blurred for most of these individuals, and if it is blurred, and if you, and if you do try your very best, like com- with one hundred percent communication, and it still doesn't work out, yeah, just fucking pack up, take your shit, and go. That's the that's the black pudding truth. That's the thing. I would, something I would tell DBDR: get a lot of money, get into shape, become that outlier male, and just leave. You have the masculine advantage on your side. By the time you're thirty, you'll be in your prime. Maybe you're 15, fucking watching my videos now. You got another fucking, you're, you're another lifetime to you to get fucking shit done. So stop, stop grinding, bro. Stop working. You know, it isn't, it is to get out of this place. Remember that, like, and it, it's a huge regret later on as well. I wish I, I really took care of my, my, my parents at the time. But like, it almost seems as if you forget 
perhaps in death or in perhaps in a moment of loneliness or perhaps in a moment of nostalgia you forget the negative things that have happened recount all of them this is why you should keep a journal you should count all of them a gratitude journal a gratitude journal if possible so you can just recount all these emotions you can live these emo- uh, these emotions live these situations in real time in order to like fully like vividize is that a, is that a word fully realize like these, these moments like oh man it's just like why do you think why do you bro it's just it's it's just, it's a string of failures it's a string of bad parenting and they wonder why things are going uh, black pill what black pill what it's just like your what oh, my mom single mom on my case all the time and then what, she thinks to herself because she because she, 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 she's sentient she thinks oh, you should send me a care home when you're older uh, I'm like oh no I won't it's being nice but then at one point I just said, keep acting like this. I'm busy. I'm busy as heck. I got a job, like you said. Coming to. Just keep acting this. Like I won't have time to take care of you. And that is it. Something light. Like, it's just... It's like that. Don't seek peace. Don't seek peace. Seek the stressful environments. Work harder. It might, it might seem like, you know, my communist friend before said to me, like, um, you know, I said, I said to him that individuals are struggling in positions of financial difficulty, a financial disparity, should be working harder in order to mitigate this. They're like, oh, so, you're, so your, entire, your, your entire argument is that you should be working harder. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I started. I, I, it's a. It's a pretty big yes. It's a pretty big yes. You're working extremely hard. You're working so so hard that they can't help but be jealous, but talk shit. Like the black pill is just a negative side of humanity. The red pill is just the part like the the positive, optimistic, you know, work hard, grind hard side of humanity. The blue pill is just stupidity. Listen, guys. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. And I'm sitting here in the fucking hole in my mattress, in my room, in my small ass room, in a council apartment, in the hood. I live in the hood, by the way. I'm sitting here, you know. I think to myself one thing, one thing only, like, I got to get the fuck out of here. You know, you know, Andrew Tate himself comes from Luton. I remember laughing with a friend once. They came from Luton because it's such a shithole. I, I kid you not, it's such a shithole. Luton is, is like it's like top ten worst place to be. <laughs> it's like it's just a horrible place to be in general, you know. And Andrew Tate, like he, he comes from that shithole, and he made so much like so, such a good living for himself. He's, he's, he's made such a negative into such a positive. Like I think to myself, like anyone can make it, guys. It's so realistic to become a millionaire in in the two thousand in the two thousand millennia, bro. Perhaps by three thousand, like th- literally fucking three thousand and one, three thousand and two. You know what I'm saying? What year is it? Three thousand and two. But perhaps by that time, it'll be semi-realistic to become a millionaire because um, inflation, all that type of shit. But like in the in within the next five hundred years, I believe. Totally, it's so realistic to come in there. Everyone is just fucking dumb and like reverting or regressing into social norms. And honestly, I think that's perfectly fine. But I don't control how people behave. But I also think that these people can regress and do the things that are socially acceptable. And you know, my friend telling me before, he said he would never go to university because all his friends hate it. But then he ended up going to university anyway because it's safe. Like, fucking dumb, dumb, dumb fuck, bro. Like, that's such a dumb fuck. <laughs> it's just like. Guys, it's, <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be extremely difficult. But it's so realistic to come in there. And I, I from the bottom of my heart, sitting in my shitty apartment, sitting in my shitty little studio with my mattresses to fucking insulate audio. I genuinely believe in you. I genuinely believe in you, man. A man or woman. I believe in you, bro. From the bottom of my heart, bro. Anyone watching this fucking video, anyone G enough to fucking listen to one hour of my shit, bro? I, 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 
wholeheartedly believe in your ability to become successful. If you if you reiterate, you read books, you know, read books is just one step one. I don't know why everyone fucking like, is like oh my god, read books and then you, know, you become rich. Like it's just it's just that's just that's a Tyler Lopez saying that he's just trying to sell your course. Okay, but if you read books, you, you find courses online. <clears throat> <laughs> you find the courses through unknown mysterious means you know you work fucking hard tirelessly every single day you exercise regularly you're on your good habits you have a habit tracker i believe wholeheartedly you become, can become successful you can become glorious you can become something beyond what you initially thought you could be like, i genuinely believe that from the bottom of my heart like yeah 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 the black pill is real I've said it so many times in this video. Yeah, it's real. I don't doubt its existence. Yeah, but the, the red pill is also real. But the blue pill is also real. <laughs> More like cock pill. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so fucking funny to me, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> people want to talk about the red pill and then like, how black pill is real when they, and then they refer to like fucking individuals like fucking XQC, Felix Langell. Lengal, Lengel, Lengel, I don't know how to say his last name, I don't give a fuck, but like him with the fucking adapter, adapter whale situation with the lawsuit, like, li- bro, his, his taste in women is atrocious, okay, and his social skills, despite being a millionaire, despite being tall, despite being handsome, he's like six foot two, bro, and despite being all these things, like, his, his lack of, like, good positive habits, like, holy, holy, bro, oh my god, like think about how hateable he would be if he was a fucking if he he same height, he was on his fitness journey, you know, he had social skills. I remember seeing a video with him, Linus Tech Tips, and he, those two are such fucking geeks. I can't even keep eye contact. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible, bro. It's fucking oh my god. Level one skills. Minus level one, bro. Only in the age of the internet these individuals can become successful, bro. But like, yeah, guys, if he can make it, you can too. It just takes a long time, a long work every single day. It's just, it's so fucking, oh, it's so fun. Okay, I'll catch you. I'm gonna end the video here. We're almost at an hour, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it that long. Uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, thank you a lo- lot for watching, or listening. I'm watching because I'm gonna put like fucking shit in my video. Uh, at, at times, I'll probably, know, I'm gonna probably just gonna put bad man content after a while. Because I'm going to get fucking tired of, like, going through this. The first 20 minutes, I'll put, like, images and stuff. But the rest of it, I'm, I wanna, I'm not going to put anything. But I thank you very much for watching. And shout out to DBDR. This is why I'm doing this audio thing. Audio type videos. And they're, they're seeing some success so far. And I'm, I'm, I am liking it, honestly. Like, <laughs> I, I really like it. It's kind of low effort for me a bit. So I should probably put, put more effort into it. But... That was disgusting, I apologize. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, live mediocre, die mediocre. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Stay safe.